Welcome to Electron Online, and here's another example of how to work with partial pressures and, of course, making use of Dalton's law. Here we have a mixture of three gases. We have um, methane, ethane, and propane in various amounts, two moles, three moles, and five moles, respectively. They're kept in a container with a volume of 3.8 liters and at a temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. So now we're trying to find the partial pressure of ethane. So using Dalton's law, using the equation PV equals nRT, we can say that the ratio of the pressure caused by the ethane divided by the total pressure is equal to the number of moles of the ethane divided by the total number of moles in the entire gas mixture. So if we then, sub, then we bring the, P, the total pressure over to the right side, we can say that the partial pressure of ethane is equal to the total pressure times the ratio of the number of moles of ethane in the mixture divided by the total number of moles in the entire mixture. All right, so now we have to find the total pressure of the mixture right here. And so we can do that by saying PV equals nRT. And finding the pressure, we want P is equal to nRT divided by the volume. Now, since the volume was given to us in liters, we may not want to use the standard units, although let me do it both ways. We can use standard units and then we can use units that are often used in chemistry. So let's take a look. So first of all, we want to put in the total number of moles. So we have 2 plus 3 plus 5, that's 10 moles. 10 moles. Multiply times the gas constant, which is 8.314. That would be joules per mole times Kelvin. The temperature is kept at 20 degrees centigrade, so we have to add that to 273. 20 plus 273 is 293 Kelvin. And the whole thing divided by the volume 3.8 liters converted to cubic meters is 0.0038 cubic meters. And in this way, we'll get the pressure in terms of pascals, which are the standard units of pressure. So we have 10 times 8.314 times 293 divided by 0.0038 equals. And so that gives us a total pressure of 6,000,000. 410,000 pascals. Of course, we probably want to write that in, in um, notification like this, 6.4 times 10 to the sixth pascals. So that would be probably a better way to write it. So we use that methodology. Now, what if we want to write this in terms of chemistry units? So instead of using R as 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin, we can actually write it like this. Pressure is equal to nRT over V. We still have 10 moles, but now we can use this gas constant as 0 0.08206. That would be liters times atmospheres divided by mole times Kelvin. So we use this form of the gas constant. Our answer will now come out in liters rather than in atmospheres, rather than um, cubic meters and pascals. So the temperature is still 293 Kelvin. And divide the whole thing by the volume. Now instead of writing the volume in cubic meters, we can write, write the volume in liters, 3.8 liters. So now this will give us the answer in atmospheres rather than pascals. So we have 10 times 0.08206 times uh, 293 and divided by 3.8 equals and so this ends up being 63.3 atmospheres. So it's equal to 63.3 atmospheres. So we can either use the pressure in atmospheres or the pressure in Pascal. So this is, of course, total pressure. Now we'll come back over here to try and calculate the partial pressure of ethane. So the partial pressure of ethane is equal to the total pressure, which is 63.3 atmospheres times the ratio. How many moles of ethane do we have? Looks like we have three. How many moles of total of the total gas? Two plus three is five plus five is ten. So it'd be three tenths of that. So uh, times 0.3 equals and so the partial pressure of the ethane in the total mixture of that gas is about 19.0 atmospheres. 
and that's how we do that. So very straightforward. We take the ratio of the, to of the partial pressure divided by the total pressure as equal to the number of moles of that gas divided by the total number of moles in the mixture. We then rearrange the equation. So now we just simply take the ratio of the moles times the total pressure. We find the total pressure by using the PV equals NRT equation. We can either use the standard units or we can use the units so we can use atmospheres and liters. Just the only difference here is instead of using this as our gas constant, we use this as our gas constant. Same answer really, except in this case we get in terms of atmospheres rather than in terms of pascals. And that's how you do that.